All right, what's up, pilots? Um, I'm gonna do a little multi-part series here. Um, I'm gonna use the uh, J10B Air Show Edition. This is an advanced level jet to uh, kind of go step by step. Um, this will work for beginners out there, and uh, you guys that know what you're doing. This is, you know, probably basic stuff for you. So uh, I'm just gonna go step by step on when you get your plane, or if you're thinking about upgrading a jet that you already have. Starting out with a bare system, nothing in there. Um, I just have a lipo in there simply for uh, for a head weight. Um, without the lipo in there, it's, it can sit back on its tail a little bit. So got that in there, and then the only other piece of electronics I've got in there right now is a servo that uh, runs the uh, rudder and the forward steering. And then I have my wires coming back from where my uh, ducted fan and uh, my ducted fan and motor are going to be at and uh, we'll get that all set up. So we're gonna cover a lot of the basics and then get into a little bit more advanced stuff. Um, we're gonna cover you know how you know what size fan you want, uh, how many blades you want on that fan, whether you're looking for uh, high speed, uh, more thrust, or a combination of the two, um, how to determine what type of uh, speed control you want. You know, There's tons of them out there how many amps are you going to need, um, what's your fan going to pull, stuff like that. Um, so we'll go through a basic setup. The setup I'm going to do on this, um, this is going to, on my Airshow Edition here, this is going to be a combination setup. It's going to be equal, I'm going to set it up for equal amount of thrust and equal amount of uh, um, RPM for speed. Remember, the higher, higher the RPM, the higher the speed. It does not mean the higher the speed, the higher the thrust. There's the little catches there. So, uh, different ways to set it up. So this one's going to be a combination. I want this to perform well all the way around. Now, on the second J10, I'm going to cover. Um, it'll be a solid gray one. It has not been painted yet. Um, it isn't even done building yet. I'm still in the process of building that one. As soon as I finish that one up, we'll go into that, and I will show you how I choose to set up a high thrust setup. Um, I'll be doing a high thrust setup on that while I'm reaching for a part here um, simply because guys on that one uh, this back cone here where all the blacks at um, will be removed and in its place will be a uh, brushed aluminum uh, 70 millimeter 360 degree thrust vector uh, RC lander unit so uh, on the on the other uh, J10 on my uh, gray kit uh, we will be pushing a lot of thrust versus speed. It'll still be fast, but I want to be able to point that nose up and I expect it to hover and I won't stop until I get it to that power point. Now I've already done one of these and I pretty much know the power setup for a hover so uh, I'll kind of be going off of that and improving a little bit. So uh, this J10 here, since it is the air show edition and it's a really nice nice scheme. Um, I'm not going to do any chopping on it and I'm not going to put thrust vector on it. So this is going to be a well balanced. Uh, this will have great speed and should have very good vertical. Um, now on the other J10, it, like I said, it'll still be fast. Um, trust me, but it'll have pretty much unlimited vertical. Um, from a hover state, I will be able to accelerate out of a hover vertical and continue. So. Uh, That'll be the second setup. So this one's just going to be a balanced setup, but I'll try and cover all the basics on uh, on how to determine what you need and uh, how to determine what kind of setup you want to run and what things you need to look at to help you decide your setup. So stay tuned for that. Um, we'll get that coming. And while I'm explaining that, I'm also going to go ahead and do the installation uh, of all the electronics um, that we pick out and we do. and. Uh, We'll get this thing flight ready, and then we'll go out and do the maiden here soon. So uh, stick around, guys, and we'll get this thing covered and go over a lot of the basic stuff. Uh, BECs, speed controls, um, eliminating an internal or linear BEC in a speed control, um, running your numbers through watt meters, through uh, you know amp meters, everything you can. You always want to know what your numbers are at, and uh, all the way down to even what type of LiPo you want to run in it. So uh, we'll cover all that kind of stuff coming up, so stay tuned, guys.